cooking in Kelsey's kitchen. Come on in, come on in. And if your belly's got that itching, come on in, come on in. The main ingredient is a pinch of love, and only the best comes out of Kelsey's oven. Welcome to Kelsey's Kitchen. I'm Kelsey Nixon and this is where we make fast, fun, and affordable meals. Today's show is called Pastabilities because there are so many things you can do with pasta. Today we're making two dishes that are absolutely fabulous and they're a little bit different than your average spaghetti. So let's get started with our first dish. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. I've already got my pasta, pasta going, about two quarts of water, I salted the water and added linguine. Yes, that's what we're cooking with, linguine. It's going to cook about nine to 11 minutes. So while that's going, let's get started on the sauce. So first I need two cloves of garlic. First do that to separate the two. Oh. Actually this, oh, I thought it was two cloves. It's just one really large clove. That should work, no problem. Get that off and just chop this up. Pasta is great. It's so easy to make. Anybody can make pasta. Literally, it is so easy to make. There are some tips though when cooking it that will uh, help you get better results. First of all, like I said, how I salted my water, you've got to salt your water. That will make such a difference and it's so easy to do. Um, another pasta tip is that you'll want to make sure that after you've cooked your pasta and you've strained it, you don't want to wash it because there's this starch that's on the outside of pasta and if you wash your pasta, then you wash off that starch and your sauce won't adhere and uh, we definitely want that to happen. So, okay, here we go. We've got our clove of garlic all chopped up. Let's get this going. We're going to add just uh, just about two teaspoons of um, oil, not a ton, to our skillet. Wait for that to warm up a little, little bit. Um, in addition to cooking with garlic, this recipe's also got some basil that's going to go in the sauce. So, whoops, first we're going to, um, what we're going to do is called chiffon the basil. Now, this is um, a technique that's very easy to do, and I'm just taking some of these leaves of basil. Smell fabulous, they're very fragrant and nice. Um, and we're going to just couple them on top of each other. We're multitasking here while that oil heats up. Now you're going to roll it up very tight, like so. Very easy. And now you're just going to slice it very thin. And you get these beautiful chiffoned basil leaves. Very, very simple. Oh, it smells so good, I'm telling you. Okay, and we're gonna set these aside for later on in the recipe. Gonna add this garlic to my oil and my skillet. And it's going to smell fabulous in about 30 seconds. This will get going. Now let's talk about what we're using to actually make this sauce. I'm using a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juice that I have right here. Um, we're going to cook it with an additional two cups of water for about 15 minutes and I'm telling you it's worth the time. It's absolutely fabulous. It's a wonderful sauce. And then when we're done, we're going to add a pint of grape tomatoes into the sauce to give it that nice fresh flavor. So now that my garlic has started going just a bit, I'm actually going to add my tomatoes. Like I said, 14 and a half ounce can goes right in the pot with the garlic. This is like a cheater way to making a kind of homemade sauce. Very semi-homemade, if you will. But it's great. I really, really like it. Okay, so that's going to cook and we're going to add these two cups of water. And this will cook for about 15 minutes. You'll want to bring it to a boil, then take it down to a simmer, about medium heat. And like I said, that'll cook for 15 minutes. And then we will move on to our next steps.
Learning a new language can be difficult and discouraging, but it doesn't have to be. Hello, I'm Karen, introducing Hello Channel, the revolutionary new channel designed especially to teach English. If you can speak English, the future is open for you, since speaking English means greater opportunity and higher paying jobs. By watching Hello Channel, you are immersed in this valuable language. You'll hear the words being spoken. You'll see the speakers' mouths when they say the words. You'll read what's being spoken in large, clear subtitles. And you'll speak out loud, practicing what you have just learned. There is no better or faster way to learn a language than total immersion. Hello Channel does exactly that. There's programming on every level so you can watch the shows that are just perfect for you. Whether you've spoken a little English, a great deal of English, or none at all, the Hello Channel has something for everyone. Join us for a convenient, affordable, and fun way to shape your future. There's so much in store for you if you'll just say hello. Now that my pasta's done and I've strained it, my sauce is done as well. Works out perfect as far as timing goes. So as you can see, our pasta really has, or not our pasta, our sauce really has changed. It's thickened up, a lot of that moisture has evaporated, and we have these wonderful tomatoes that really absorbed that garlic flavor that are just gonna make for a wonderful sauce. Okay, to finish this off, I am going to add this pint of grape tomatoes for that nice, fresh taste. Be just wonderful. I'm going to add another pinch of salt and pepper for flavor purposes. And I am adding about one pound of shrimp. Now, you can buy your shrimp pre-cooked, deveined, and uh, have those tails taken off, or you can do it yourself. Um, it is an extra time. Uh, it's gonna take you a little bit more time, but fresh shrimp is great. When you buy shrimp, you want to make sure that it doesn't smell fishy. And this goes for all seafood. Um, when you, you know, say you're buying a salmon filet or something like that, it should smell fresh, like seawater, and not fishy. Okay, so as you can see, it's just beautiful. And then to top this sauce off, I am going to add about three-fourths of this basil that I chiffoned. I'm going to leave just a little bit for garnishing purposes, but this is going to go in this sauce. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like fresh herbs in a fabulous pasta sauce. And look at that nice red and green color. I've got those tomatoes that made that nice texture. Added with the grape tomatoes gives it a kick of freshness. This really is just a beautiful and tasty sauce. Okay, now that that's combined, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pasta in a nice serving dish here. This one out of the way. There we go. Whoops. And I am going to top it. Now you can do one of two things. You could return your pasta to the pasta pot, put all of the sauce in and mix it up. But I tend to like mine to serve it where I just have the pasta and I put the sauce on top. And then if your guests want more sauce and they can uh, get more sauce. But I kind of like it that way just because I'm not a huge sauce person. So we're just going to just let this sauce fall right on top here. And like I said, it's just gorgeous. And I'm going to take these last few chiffons of basil and put them right on top. And if that's not a pasta dish, I don't know what is. Look at how fabulous that looks. Beautiful colors, nice linguine noodles with the shrimp, the tomatoes, the basil, wonderful garlic. This is a good dish. Stay tuned because next I'm making another fabulous pasta dish with a cream sauce and prosciutto. It's wonderful. Stay tuned. You can learn English by watching Hello. 
Welcome back to Kelsey's Kitchen. We are on to our second pasta dish. This time we're making a fabulous fettuccine um, with a wonderful cream sauce with prosciutto and peas. Now, if you haven't ever cooked with prosciutto, that's okay, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely wonderful. It's similar to like bacon or ham, but it's much, um, it's, it's sliced much thinner. So as you can see, it's right here. We'll get to that in just a second. I've already thrown my pasta in the pot. It's been cooking for about, oh, six or seven minutes or so. Um, it'll cook for about nine to 11 minutes. Remember, that's fettuccine. Um, so let's get started on the sauce while that's going. First, I'm going to get this going and add about a tablespoon of butter. Now, this uh, dish isn't as healthy as the last one, so, but it's a little bit indulgent, so anyways. Okay, so we've got the butter that's gonna start heating up here hopefully fairly quickly. And uh, next I'm gonna cut up just two shallots. Nice way to get that strong flavor of an onion with a really easy, yep, oh, I'm crowded here. You can go all the way up into the light green portion. I love cooking with shallots. They're great in this dish. Okay, a little bit more. That should be good. Scoot this over and get these chopped just a bit finer. That butter's melting and I've got multitasking is what I'm doing. I've got my pasta going, my sauce is going at the same time. Very quick dish. Pasta's great. It's good in the summertime, it's good in the winter time, especially in the summer when you can throw fresh vegetables into it. But it's always nice to have some different ideas, uh, like these two pasta dishes. Okie dokie, these are all going in here. Taste absolutely fabulous. And we're gonna want these to soften up for just a couple minutes. And while those are softening up, we'll work on the next couple steps for our sauce. Okay, there we go, okay. Next, we are going to move on to this prosciutto. It's very good, it's not that expensive, it's similar to the cost of bacon, but it's you know something different than using chicken or shrimp or something like that in your pasta. So, I like to buy it like this um, and keep it cold when you cut it. It makes it much easier to work with. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it, oh, let's get the rest of those off. I'm going to slice it lengthwise. There we go. And then I'm going to sl slice it uh, diagonally, kind of on an, an angle. And I'm telling you, it's so good. It's such a wonderful succulent flavor. Um, and it's, it's also very classy. It's, you know, something a little bit classier than bacon um, gourmet, if you will. Okay, let's see here. Onions are looking good. Pasta's on its way to being done. This is, I'm using um, eight slices, which is equivalent to four ounces. And um, it's gonna be great. Okie dokie. Yeah, you'll wanna make sure this is, my prosciutto's come to a little bit more of warm uh, room temperature and it's definitely not as easy to slice as it is when it's cold. So that's a, that's a good tip that you'll wanna remember. And then these will just kind of come apart. And I'm telling you, this is so good in pasta. Okay, so now that this is going, I'm gonna grab my spatula here. Very good. I'm going to add cream. This is 2 thirds cup. Like I said, we're using a cream sauce. Not quite as healthy as a red sauce, but let yourself live a little every now and then. And I'm going to add my prosciutto. So this is gonna go in here as well. Get this going. Now, the last ingredient is I'm using 10 ounces of frozen peas. So easy to work with. Buy them right in the, oops, right in the frozen food section and um, they're inexpensive and uh, they taste just fabulous. And really this sauce will only cook for about three to four minutes. That's all it needs 
just time to thicken up. And um, we're going to add a few more things to it and it should be ready to go. So while that thickens up, I'm going to drain my pasta that's just about done. I want to check it. Now this is a, a good thing to know, to how to check when your pasta is done. I like using tongs because it's easier to just grab a couple of pieces. But um, you'll want to make sure that it's not overdone. If anything, you want your pasta a little underdone, but um, definitely not overdone. And when you pull it apart, if you can see just a little bit of white in the center, then you're perfect. Taste it. If it's nice and chewy, has a nice consistency, then your pasta is ready to go. So, while this thickens up, let's drain this. Okay, and get this back off. Whoops, turn another one on. Okay, and while that's thickening up, we're going to add one more thing to it, some lemon zest. I'm just going to, first I'm going to roll this lemon because I'm going to put a little lemon juice in this as well. This is a good thing to do before you juice a lemon. Um, microplane, one of my favorite things in the kitchen, zesting fruits such as oranges or lemons, such an intense flavor. It's so good. I highly, highly recommend it. I'm just going to go straight into this. You'll want about a tablespoon of zest. Just a bit more. These are so easy to use and uh, really does a lot for your cooking. And we'll just slice this lemon. And I'm just going to go this way. I like to squeeze my lemons right side up so then my seeds don't get in whatever I'm cooking. Oh, got one right there though. Okay, there we go. Mix that in, nice incorporated. As you can see, it's not thickened up a lot, but just a little bit. And I've got those prosciuttos, those peas, that nice accent of lemon. There we go. Okie doke. I'm going to get my pasta back in its original pot. There we go. Make sure not to wash it off. We want that sauce to really, really absorb in the noodles. And this one I actually am going to incorporate it all together. There we go. Tongs. Another one of my, oh man, I just love using these in the kitchen. And as you can see, also the colors are great. It's a wonderful flavor, flavor combination though, the prosciutto with the peas and that accent of lemon. Very, very, very good. Okay, there we go. Put it into our nice serving dish. And that's it. If I also would recommend shaving just a little bit more of this lemon zest on the top. Really gives it a kick. There we go. And that's it. Pasta with prosciutto and peas and an ice cream sauce. Another wonderful pasta dish that's a little bit different from the ordinary. Uh, I hope you like this dish in addition to our last dish that we cook with the shrimp and the nice tomato sauce. They're both wonderful recipes and if you like them, log on to www.kelseyskitchen.com where you can find other recipes and tips that are for fast, fun, and affordable meals. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you next time.